They say that books are treasure troves of knowledge those who enjoy reading the educated and erudite obviously know this to be true as Valuable as this knowledge is it does not possess any sort of material value Though there are rare cases where a book can actually contain a treasure of a different kind This is one such case. It's the story of a volunteer at a used book sale who found an unexpected treasure beneath the cover of a rather plain-looking book There are a number of volunteer organizations out there that deal in things like clothing donation and the sale of remained books Volunteer Nonprofit Services Association Incorporated a volunteer group located in Phoenix, Arizona is one such organization Books are their main business and its books that have made them successful More than 130 volunteers at the VNSA work all year round to prepare for what's considered by many to be the largest charity used book sale in the Southwest the organization collects more than 600,000 books from an assortment of sources many of them local donors Once they're in the volunteers sort price and prepare them for the February event Retired school teacher Kathy McAllister has been a part of VNSA since 2012 Her duties in this regard involve working throughout the year to help prep the books for their February sale and acting as personal chair for the sale itself This means that she helps coordinate all the other volunteers that help out before during and after the event It was before the 2019 book sale and Kathy once again found herself sitting amidst a towering pile of books and Sorting through them to ensure they were in good enough condition to resell as she was sorting She came upon a battered abridged version of Edward Gibbons the decline and fall of the Roman Empire It was peculiar for a number of reasons the slightly battered book was in fair condition but it was one of four volumes she'd already found and she'd saved three of those already the other couple had been much more gently used as well Though she didn't like doing it She'd done this long enough to know that the only remaining option was to throw it on the pile for repurposing an Avid book lover herself Kathy felt guilty about throwing away a perfectly good book Before she tossed it onto the repulping pile She decided to check for more serious damage inside that might justify her tossing it she opened the cover and moved to fan through the pages when she noticed something unusual When she opened the cover Kathy was surprised to see that a portion had been hollowed out inside the book It looked as though someone had taken an exacto knife and rather expertly hollowed out a significant space What's more the book's previous owner had chosen to hide something in that space. I Had the book in my hands Kathy explained to bookster. I was ready to toss it because we had several copies already but when I fan that book out, there's a big hole carved in the book amongst the pages She looked down and saw that someone had hidden what looked like bills in the space Kathy's first thought was that the bills were monopoly money that perhaps a kid had hidden inside as part of some childish scavenger hunt or something She reached in and pulled out the money. She felt it. It felt legit a moment later Kathy realized that these were not board game bills at all but bundles of genuine $100 bills the $100 bills were all banded in the same way that a bank would ban them in total She found four packages each containing ten $100 bills Whoever had owned the decline and fall of the Roman Empire had chosen to hide four thousand dollars inside this book She wondered if they even knew it was missing Kathy's second thought upon seeing the money was wow. This is enough money to fund a supplemental charity She didn't bother considering keeping the money. She wasn't that type of person It didn't feel right to keep it for any reason my values were grounded in our faith she confessed afterwards She continued by explaining that the church taught us what was right and wrong. It just becomes who you are after a while Regardless of how much good she thought she might be able to do with the money Kathy decided that the only realistic option left to her was to return it to its rightful owners, but how could she find them? Luckily for Kathy the decline and fall of the Roman Empire contained more than just four thousand dollars It also contained a family letter with the name of the book's former owner Using this letter Kathy might be able to follow the links and get it back to its rightful owner still it would take a little digging Thankfully the book's previous owner just happened to have a pretty unusual last name This made Kathy's subsequent internet search that much easier After only about 10 minutes online Kathy found them the money belonged to a man and his daughter and they were about to get some rather good news Kathy got in touch with the owner's son-in-law and the two agreed that the family would come down to the warehouse to retrieve the money She would have met them at their place, but she had too much to do gearing up for the show 
The man's father-in-law hadn't even remembered that he'd hidden the money in the first place. The family had received an absolute windfall, so they decided to pay it back. They were so thankful for Kathy's honesty and quick response to them that they actually ended up donating a rather large donation to the Volunteer Nonprofit Service Association to show their gratitude. Word of Kathy's honesty soon spread. Kathy soon became a minor internet celebrity and one of the most popular questions she received was one with the easiest of answers. People wondered why she didn't just keep the money for herself. This surprised Kathy who simply replied with the matter of fact, I don't know how you would sleep at night. On February 9, 2019, the doors to the annual VNSA book sale opened for the first time. Kathy and most of her volunteers were curious to see how customers acted after news of the story broke. They expected to see folks holding up and shaking every single book they could just in case someone left money inside. Kathy was surprised to find that most people were simply looking for the same thing they always did, a good deal on some used books. I don't think that anybody else will find $4,000 in a book, but books are a great gift with or without $4,000, she explained. The Volunteer Nonprofit Service Association that Kathy works for began in 1949 and for the past 63 years had continued their tradition of saving and repurposing affordable books to the general public. Frankly, we need more organizations like these and more people like Kathy McAllister in the world.